some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video takes us to Apache Junction, Arizona with dumbass Elmo and one of his little fraudettes that he likes to hang out with. But unfortunately, one of the customers at the post office doesn't take too kindly to him filming and attacks his camera. And then it's dumbass Elmo that gets arrested for disorderly conduct. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this freaking show on the road, shall we? Hey, 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 hey. Who are you screaming at? Who are you screaming at? Get away from me. you screaming at? I'm screaming at you. Don't you. You, you quit it. Get away from Please. me. Don't touch get me. Get away from me. Don't touch me. Get away from my bank account. Get, get away from no me. No one's touching you. Get away. Stop it. Don't get you scream here. at her. Stop it. You stop. What are you doing in here? I'm filming. Get away from me. You get away. You have no right. It's in here. We weren't even looking at you. Who do you think you are screaming at her? Who do you think you are screaming at I know exactly who I am. I've got my bank account. No one's here trying to get me. I got my own bank account. I don't need your bank account. You notice something? Dumbass Elmo does not seem to be running away this time. He's acting all brave and everything like that. I wonder why he's doing this. Is it because of her that he wants to impress this little one right here and uh, tap that? Yeah, that's probably it. He just wants to act tough so he can get with her at some point. But you know what? If dumbass Elmo were alone or with another frauditor he didn't need to impress, then he would be doing this right here, running away like a scared little punk. Run, bitch! Run! Get away from her. And from I'm me. I'm in you! Get away from me. You raise that hand up and get at me, right, we're going to have a problem. You, I, well, <laughs> that goes both ways. Yes, that goes both ways. Police on you guys if you don't back off now. Call them. Me. Call them. Yo, you guys are being disorderly. Are you? What are you doing? Yeah, who are you? Being who are you? I These guys, please don't touch me. I don't want you here. Get away don't from Don't tell me what to do. And don't you I'm ever you and don't you ever tell her what to do either. Don't you ever tell her what to do either. Get away from me. You get away. No one he was on me. No, you no, were right away from me. I came up to you when you were screaming at her, liar. Now, if dumbass Elmo was really intelligent, he would have disengaged at this point instead of, uh, well, antagonizing the situation to the point where his little camera got assaulted and then follow the dude outside to further antagonize him until the police showed up and it's the frauditor who ends up getting arrested in this particular occasion. But of course, Dumbass Elmo is not the sharpest knife out there. In fact, he's probably uh, duller than a butter knife at this point. A few moments later. But princesses and little snowflakes over here. Why? Um, Why? Stay away from my wife. So, you stay away from my girlfriend, from my friend. Stay away from my friend. What are you going to do, bro? If you touch me, I'm going to sue the f out of you. And then I'll get into your bank account. Touch me. Mm -hmm. Guy just assaulted me? Yeah. I'm going to get his license plate. I'll make sure I'll get your license plate because you assaulted me. Oh, boy. It's on video. It's on video. I think you're high. You're both high. Get it's away legal. from us. We're going to film. We're going to get you your license plate. You need to get away from us. Yo, come over here. Come over here. This Stay guy. away from me. I'm going to stab you in the Oh, you're going to stab. I'm going to get your license so plate. Don't follow us. Leave us alone. I'm going to find out who you are. You're invading my privacy. Leave me alone. I'm Catch definitely. Catch I've got one arm. Get the away from me. You get away. Here they come, right here. Awesome, awesome, because you hit me and it's on video. Any You're threat and violence to my phone, you might want to stick around. We're going to, yo, watch out with this guy. With a camera and see what they're going to do. You know, my wife is sitting there with a, just out of the hospital. Get out of my start face. In on her. Is Get that out what you do? Pardon me, good sir. This is dumbass Elmo you're talking to. He's not exactly the brightest one out there. He's got a criminal record as long as your arm and... He just doesn't have the ability to get himself a proper job. That way he can stay out of trouble. Because, you know, nobody will hire this jackass. And it's admirable that you're protecting your wife in this scenario because, yeah, dumbass Elmo is also a domestic abuser, so you might want to keep your 
wife away from him. You never know what's going to happen because he hates women. So much so that I understand that his own mother has a restraining order against him. And when your own mother doesn't watch you, there's really something wrong with you there. All right, this guy, this guy needs to go to jail. This guy needs to go to jail. This guy needs to go to jail. He'll salt it. Can I have your name and batch number, please? I wasn't Sorry, filming when... I, I wasn't filming when you told me. Um, what is it? Ariana426. Thank you so much. Why are you running my... Why is, why is he running my, my ID instead of doing a, a report? And why shouldn't he, dumbass? Because you do have a history of being arrested for this kind of thing. You accuse others of uh, being disorderly, but when it comes right down to it, you're the one who has a history of disorderly conduct, and this particular day, there's just one more charge of disorderly conduct added to your rap sheet. We're, we, it's, it's common. We run everybody and we attach everybody to the report so that everybody's name's on the report. Okay. It's a common practice we right, do cool. with every contact we make so we know who we're making contact with. That's good. Can you believe this? Can you believe this? Unreal. No problem. Thanks. Just do me a favor and not make any contact oh, yeah, we'll be right with there. them or comments. That's fine. gotta go, go inside real quick and you told me that they gave you permission to be in their videotape we have authorization for news purposes every post office uh has uh, authorization from the postmaster uh no it doesn't say in poster seven that you have permission to do this all over the country in fact it expressly states that you need to get permission from the postmaster or local installation head you dumbass but as soon as we got here a, a concerned citizen asked why they were filming it and and i have on video they said it, they say we have the right so no employee ever interfered they should have though because they should have said hey they have the right to be here you know and that's it everything would have ended but they all kept their mouths shut bro and they didn't they decided not to get involved so instead of I instead of educating him i could get that though um they don't want to get involved in that i understand her or you or even me whatever if i'm working in there yeah i would think that's a police issue Let, let's call the police have them come over and explain to yeah for real you know what i mean i hear that yeah so she's just verifying that yeah i want to press full charges okay. on this guy for for threats and for assault you can't touch a camera guy uh, a news Hold person's on, camera Allow me to translate this for you, ma'am. He is a giant snowflake who doesn't like other people touching him or his camera because his camera is an extension of himself, according to him and other frauditors. And therefore, you touch the camera, you touch them, and that's grounds for assault in their minds, but not in the real world. Moments later. No, ma'am. Okay. She's a witness. Did you witness this? Yeah. The whole thing. Okay, just stand by, please. Okay. Awesome. You better tell the truth, too, because he just saw everything on video. And if you lie to the police, that's a crime. So if you're going to stand by this guy who just assaulted me, you better have the you have you better have the heart to get in trouble, too. There there was. He just seen it. Well, he did. So so that's why he's that's why he's detained. So if you're going to stand up and lie and protect the criminal, make sure you know there are consequences for that. Or you could just leave. You better be really sure who you're defending. No, I'm just letting her know. She better be real. You, you, you no, shut up. It's it. actually the First Amendment. You better watch yourself, dumbass Elmo. You're getting very close, if not crossing the line already, on obstruction of an investigation in Arizona. And as such, I'm sure the prosecutors wouldn't mind taking a look at your video here and seeing if this does qualify as obstruction right here or an attempt at obstruction. That might end up getting additional charges because of this BS. Oh, bro, bro, you have to let these people know. You have to put them, you have, you have to let them know right off the bat. You're willing to go ahead and lie to the police over a stranger at the post office? Okay. Okay, you better have video proof. Because your partner's going to come out here with like 19 witnesses who, who are going to go against everything that you just saw on video. So, so you're just going to see how much of lies there is in our, in our city, brother. You know? Everybody lies. Everybody lies. But videos don't. And you're being honest at this point, dumbass Elmo. 
Everybody's told a lie at some point in their life, some more than others. In fact, you tell more lies than I could ever count. But you're right, as well as when it comes to videos don't lie. And that's why your video just got you in trouble in this particular occasion. Because it didn't lie and everybody saw the truth. So everybody's going to go and tell the, the supervisor everything that you, that, that you didn't see on the video. <laughs> And by the way, we've, we, we have more than 100 million uh, combined uh, visits to our platform. So we're very pop popular nationwide. And every time I say nationwide, we got people correcting us and telling us worldwide because more than 15 countries uh, watch our videos. So that's impressive. We, we're, we're praising good cops and exposing bad service from uh, public employees. So if, if you do a good job, you, uh, I recommend everybody to, to give what we call a good complaint. Yeah, there he goes. Right back to the ad populum fallacy that he likes to uh, bring up, that he has 100 million views on his channel. Big freaking deal. And Gang of Style has well over a billion views. So what? Now, as far as your channel having views from over 15 different countries, that alone is not exactly impressive. In fact, if you take a look at the list on my channel for my statistics page, yeah, I've got just over 11 million views, and I've got people all over the world that seem to watch my channel, everybody from United States, Russia, China, all over the place. You are nothing special. You are just another YouTuber. And now he's about to go into giving good complaints uh, to police officers. And there's no such thing as a good complaint because a complaint is a negative thing. So it does not apply to what you're trying to state. In this particular occasion, I do believe that you mean uh, praising because praising means something positive. But you know what? I don't think that this word is in your vocabulary because you seem to have a very, very limited one to begin with. Now let's just skip this conversation because it really goes nowhere. Besides highlighting his own idiocy. Much, much later. Yeah. Ma'am, I, I bet you came out of there with 19 statements that were lie. <laughs> but officer already here saw the video. No, if you. I just Awesome. Can can you contact the postal police? They're in charge of enforcing law here. They're they're the ones. I don't contact postal police. Yeah. Only, well, you guys supposed the to niche. thing they're in, in charge of is when people take mail and things like that. Oh, they enforce the law here. It's on. It's. Well, if they need to. But well, they need it's to. Also our jurisdiction, so we also handle whatever. Well, you guys work together. That's what it is. Right. You 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 guys have the right to come in here and and neutralize the situation. But you have to contact the postal police because they're the ones that that, that enforce the law here. Uh, no, dumbass Elmo. If you would actually read Poster 7, the enforcement clause, then you would see that the local police can have jurisdiction over the post office, you dumbass. Especially when matters like this occur because there are so few postal police around the country. I want to file a report with the postal police. They need to come. Pretty cold. Serve and protect, huh? Yep. Right there. Let's see. We'll Let's see. see. <laughs> High five. Again. Hold <laughs> on, oh, man. 
Hey, how's it going, Sergeant? How are you doing, sir? Doing good. Thank you for showing up. Can I have your name and badge number, please? Sure. Sergeant France, Patch Junction Police Department, badge 263. Thank you so much. No problem. We've already Can shown you do me a favor and hang out by the front of that vehicle for me? Am I being detained? For a second. Am I being detained? I'm being detained? So yes, you are being detained. For what crime? The crime of disorderly conduct. I, ne I was never so disorderly. Go ahead and hang out by the car over there. You're illegally detaining me. I'm asking you politely. Hang out You're illegally the detaining me. You know that, right? You can't detain me. I haven't broken the law. I haven't broken the law. Yes, you have. For what? For what? You ask, dumbass Elmo? Well, perhaps the Arizona Disorderly Conduct Statute, or even the uh, Poster 7 Disturbances Clause as well. Either way, it didn't exactly work out for you because, A, you can't read Poster 7 very well, and you've proven that on several occasions, and, well, it's also been proven that you don't know what disorderly conduct is when nine times out of ten, you're the one being dragged out for disorderly conduct. Yeah, and that was this case this time. So I guess it's just going to end up as another notch on your rap sheet. And it's a rather extensive one and getting longer by the day, I suppose. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. You don't want to go to jail. For what? You read this. Yeah. I don't have to listen to read anything. It. Blah, 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 blah. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?